this video I'm going to show you how to connect your PC laptop to a sixth generation smart classroom. First, the first thing that you're going to have to do with a sixth generation smart classroom is to turn on the projector. In sixth generation, that is done with the remote. Uh, you need to point it towards the projector, hold it down, you'll hear that little beep, and it takes about 10 to 15 seconds for the lamp to warm up. As it warms up, it'll get brighter on the screen here, and you're going to see a message that says HDMI input. If for whatever reason it does not say HDMI when it warms up, you do need to press the number six on the remote. It is clearly labeled HDMI. When you are in HDMI mode, everything else is controlled from the HDMI switcher that is located in your lectern. Okay, first, you need to connect the laptop to the VGA input for the projector. Here is the VGA cord. Locate your VGA input. Plug that in. If you're going to use audio, you need to use locate the speaker jack for your laptop and plug that in. Okay, now let's check to make sure you're in the right source mode for the projector for your PC laptop. In sixth generation, you're going to locate the HDMI switcher on the lectern and see what is lit up. Right now, it is the dock cam. I need to switch it to the laptop. When that is lit up, you should see your projector on the screen. Now, for some troubleshooting. If you're not getting exactly what you expect up on the screen, on a PC, you can press the, the Windows key and the letter P will bring up the projector mode. Uh, nine times out of ten is, is, for whatever reason, in the older computer not duplicating the screen yet, and it says computer only. If you will click on the duplicate, let it restart, at this point you should see uh, this projected up on the projector from your PC. If you have any questions or problems, uh, please let technology services know. Another troubleshooting is if you have a newer PC, there is a chance that you have only an HDMI output. If that is the case, you can contact Technology Services and we can check you out a dongle that will transfer the HDMI input to a VGA input where you can actually connect. Uh, and we can check that out to you until you can get one purchased for yourself. Okay, now a note about utilizing volume control on your laptop if you're going to be playing anything that involves video from your laptop. If you are, the first thing you need to do is actually come to the volume here and have it at 50% or lower for you to be able to utilize correctly the volume controls which are located on the wall. So once you have it set to 50%, then you can come here and actually adjust. You'll start hearing it around 3 and it slowly progresses louder. So this is where you're going to want to control any of the volume uh, necessary for anything that you play from your PC. Now that you're finished utilizing the projector, it's time to turn it off. But let me be impressed that if you are not done with it, do not turn off the projector until you're absolutely sure you are finished utilizing the projector for the remainder of your lecture. This is because turning it on and off, not only does it take a long time, but it's tremendous strain on the lamp itself and reduces its life considerably. So, you're finished with your projector use. You just press the off button from the remote, you will hear a beep. It will ask you a question, are you sure? You say, yeah, I'm ready. And press it the off a second time, and you'll hear the system start cooling down. We appreciate your cooperation on that, and if you have any questions, contact Technology Services.